Hello, my name's Robert Fisher and I'm a senior lecturer in law on the Rockhampton campus of CQ University Australia. One of the courses I teach is a course in, called Corporate Law and it's directed to postgraduate students seeking a Master of Accounting qualification. Now, in addition to the lectures we have a series of commentaries and in this co these commentaries I'm sometimes assisted by various friends. Now, uh, if I look here, what I see is an Australian flag right across. Uh, that's the Australian flag. And if I look behind it, who do we have? We've got my friend here called Robo Lawyer. Hello, Robo Lawyer. Why were you hiding behind the Australian flag? What's that? Because Yesterday in the class I explained a bit about the history of Australia to the students. That's right, I did, because a lot of the students have come from other countries where they're not familiar with the history of Australia and it makes it easier if they understand the difference between Commonwealth laws and state laws if they've got an understanding of the history of Australia. I think there's meant to be the states uh, the p points on that star are meant to represent the states and that's the Southern Cross, it's a constellation in the sky. So I talked briefly about that because when we talked about the law of partnership, each state has its own partnership law and although they're very similar, there are slight differences between them. So yesterday we talked about partnership, didn't we? Uh, came across a lot of new ideas and concepts. What's that Robo Lawyer? A partnership's not a separate legal entity. No, I hope everybody knows that and I hope everybody knows about the description or definition of a partnership which is found in the legislation. In fact, what we did yesterday uh, following the lecture we went to a computer lab and we, I showed the students how to access legislation using the Ostley database and they were able to actually locate and say the particular case they've got to read and answer questions on for part of their assignment. Yes, well that would, that's right Robo Lawyer, it does make it a lot easier. And speaking of making things easier, the other thing, I, I showed the students a new publication. There's this publication which has come out applied. Co I'm going to hold it up in front of you, Robo Lawyer, because uh, you can't hold it for me. But it's applied corporate law and a bilingual approach. The interesting thing is that each page, one column's written in English, the other column's written in Chinese. And it's not a prescribed textbook although I have put it up on, uh, I've mentioned it on the course web page in the announcement, but it certainly does make things easier for students, uh, especially from other cultures and countries where some of the concepts and languages are somewhat different. So it's certainly very useful one. And another one which is uh, it's also around is the International Student Guide to Business Law, also written in Chinese. So it's makes things easier for students to understand various concepts and ideas. I think that's very important, yes. So that's probably sums up what we did yesterday. We, we did the law of partnership about partners, the unlimited liability of partners, partners and partners can be bound by the acts of other people or other, and other partners purporting to act in the partnership business. So that's a very, uh, it's an interesting idea. Uh, sometimes the law's not very clear, not very exact. What's up Robo Lawyer? You want to know the difference between statute law and the general law or common law? Well, that's a good question because statute law is the law that's written down. It's the acts passed by the parliaments and we can see it written down whereas the general law is made up of what we call common law and equity and they are the principles, uh, points of law, which judges have laid down in decided cases. And yes, now how, where do we find the rights of partners? Well, 
that's another very important point. We first of all look to the partnership agreement. And if the partnership agreement doesn't deal with it, then maybe we'd have to go and look at the Partnership Act, partnership legislation to fill in the gaps. And if it's not there, we have to go and look to the decided cases. Perhaps that gives us a guide or an answer to the question. Yes, uh, I think we've covered most of it. Yes, uh, so you like that idea about talking to the students about the Australian law and the history of Australia. In fact, I have got put a couple of little links up there on the course webpage where they can go and get a little simple history of Australia and Australian law because they, different people have different levels of understanding when they come into the course. So I think that's a good idea. Did they see you? Yes, I showed them the video uh, clips of you up on YouTube. So, yes, there's quite a lot of them now, aren't there? Getting 80-something uh, or whatever. We'll, we'll see how it goes then. We'll, you say goodbye, robo-lawyer. Right. Right. Goodbye, everyone, till next time. Yes, now I'm going to shut this off now, Robo Lawyer. Right, eh?